Welcome back to the Northeast Florida Surf Fishing Forecast. This video was shot late Monday afternoon in Jack's Beach near the pier. As you can see, the water became very nice. All day Monday, the winds blew out of the northeast 10 to 15. Saturday, they blew strong out of the south and dirtied it up. So Sunday, we had dirty water, but the water cleaned up as the day went on Monday. In the next few days, we should have some good water too, and there were some good catches of whiting and pompano and black drum in the surf, all the way from uh, Little Talbot down to Flagler. So yeah, the water looks good, guys. And the uh, work continues on the pier. Slow and steady is the progress. They need to add one more section to the end, and then they're out to the original length, and uh, both cranes will build. So as I was saying, they... Uh on the pier, the Jack's Beach Pier, one more section of their temporary pier, and then they're actually out to the original length of where the pier will be restored. And so hopefully once that happens, they'll have both cranes uh, working on it and it'll uh, move a little bit faster. But until that time, we're all gonna be fishing the surf. And uh, right now is a good time. Water temperatures right now, uh, Fernandina's running 67 to 68. Jack's Beach area 69, 70, and down to Flagler 71 to 73. Right now there's Spanish, bluefish, speckled trout, yellowmouth trout, pompano, whiting, redfish, black drum, bonnetheads, catfish, stingrays, you name it, and it's biting right now. Um, what you catch really depends on right now on the water clarity. So when it's dirty, catfish, sharks, stingrays, uh, and our lovely sand perch, which will eat all your bait if you don't know it. But when it's clean, good catches of pompano, whiting, some nice black drum I've seen the last few days, uh, redfish and Spanish and blues. Right now the pompano are really focused in on crab knuckles, sand fleas and clam. Whiting are hitting the clam and the sand fleas. And uh, you can't go wrong tipping these live baits, or putting some clam fish bites or sand flea fish bites, give them a smorgasbord so when they're hitting the real bait, if they're not gonna let go. They're gonna have more than they wanna chew. Um, the black drum are hitting crab knuckles as well and sand fleas. Now you can use shrimp for all of these as well, but honestly, this time of year when you're using dead shrimp, you're gonna get more small whiting. And uh, I mean, you'll catch the occasional pompano and nice whiting, but for the most part, there's a lot more fish in the surf now, small croakers, small spots, and they absolutely love the shrimp. So if you're using crab, crab knuckles and sand fleas, although those small fish will still peck at them, they usually don't eat them and the bigger fish will come along and eat them. Look for good runouts for the whiting and pompano, sandbars as well. And uh, before we go any further, I gotta thank everyone who showed up to the seminar this past Saturday morning. And uh, James already put the uh, float rig technique that I talked about in the surf to use. He was fishing on the beach and uh, threw the float rig into the, I believe a run out, caught a nice 16 inch whiting on it. Guys, it works. Obviously it can't be very rough to use the float rig, but on calm days where you can find a good run out, you throw that float, float rig into the run out and the run out will actually take the float rig out to the end of the run out and that's where all the big fish are sitting and feeding. Well, that shrimp comes along and bam, big whiting, big pompano, big drum. So keep that in mind. Um, next few days, Tuesday, east winds 10 to 12. Wednesday, east, southeast uh, 10 to 20. And then on Thursday, south, southeast, southeast, back and forth between the south, southeast. It looks, looks like uh, eight to 15, so. I was gonna fish Tuesday and Wednesday would be the days. Uh, Thursday, depending on how strong the south it gets, I mean, it could blow a lot harder than they're calling for. We know it'll dirty it up fast if it does. But if you're fishing on Tuesday and Wednesday, you can really sort of try to target what you want. If you want Spanish and blues, bring gotchas, spoons, anything shiny that you can throw and jig back and forth, those Spanish will tear it up and so will the blues. Bring, make sure to pick up some blue crabs, some clam, the sand fleas, speaking of sand fleas, oh boy, he fell on the table. They're here. Had a buddy give me some tonight. He 
caught a bucket load. South Jack Speech. This size right here I love. And, of course, full of eggs. So that's what the fish are targeting. Um, if you get into an area where there's a lot of bluefish, remember what I said about taking all the floats and beads off and going straight fluorocarbon and hooks? That does help out. Um, if you're using the sand fleas, those orange beads really do help. Put the orange beads above the hook. So you got that double orange and the flea. Fish thinks he's getting a lot of eggs to eat. So that's about it. The next few days should be good. Hopefully I'll see some good reports. We'll put them in the report on Thursday. Um, not to think. Anything else I need to mention? I think uh, April, May 8th, Fish Bites is having a huge, huge uh, seminar where they're having people speak all days, all day about different types of fishing. So check that out on the Fish Bite. Fish Bites website, Facebook page probably would be better. Has all the information. They're gonna have vendors there all day. And if you're over in, I think, Orange Park area, don't forget to check out Resellers Reef. Phenomenal store. Has all the gear you need, has all the tackle you need. If you're on Beach Boulevard, hit up Strike Zone. They got everything you need too. And if you need sinkers, there's only one guy you need to call, and that's the sinker guy. Go to his website and order them. Best sinkers in town, guys. Could be east to 20 with three to four foot surf. And his sinkers don't have a problem holding in place while you catch pompano and whiting. So with that being said, we'll uh, hopefully have an update tomorrow about some fish being caught. If, if I don't fish, I'll still have a water report. Look for it around... Uh, Afternoon time, we'll be down in Jack's Beach looking for some sand fleas and uh, we'll shoot a video of how the water looks. So if you're working late and you still want to fish, you know the water's good. Till then, tight lines, guys.